what's up youtube fam so today i'm gonna be showing you guys step by step how to make this delicious triple meat lasagna so first you're gonna go ahead and start to cook your italian sausage i'm using the johnsonville mal italian sausage but you can use any italian sausage that you'd like And guys, today this recipe that we're doing does not have the ricotta cheese that typically goes in lasagna. If you do like ricotta cheese, you can definitely add it to this recipe, but my family, we prefer without the ricotta cheese. So you want to go ahead and cook your meat until it's completely cooked and then you want to go ahead and drain it from the fat. Guys, so the next meat that we're going to use is ground turkey. So you want to do the same thing that you did with the Italian sausage. Go ahead and cook your meat and drain it. So next, it's time for your beef sausage. This is the sausage that I have. I typically use smoked beef sausage, but this is all that I had in the freezer today. So you can use any beef sausage. Go ahead and chop it up like such and cook it. So once your sausage is cooked, you're going to go ahead and drain that as well and put it with the rest of your meat over to the side. Now before we start on our meat sauce, I am going to go ahead and start boiling my lasagna noodles. So I just take some water, I add some olive oil as well as a little bit of garlic salt just to flavor it and go ahead and let those boil until they're completely cooked. So now to start with our meat sauce, I did go ahead and chop up some bell peppers as well as some onions and I'm just going to saute that. Next you are going to add in your minced garlic and let that cook with your vegetables. Now that your vegetables are cooked, we are gonna go ahead and add in all three of the meats that we cooked. So you're gonna wanna add one can of crushed tomatoes. Next, we're going to add in one can of tomato sauce. Next, we're going to add one can of tomato paste. To season your sauce, you are gonna wanna use some Italian seasoning. You're gonna wanna use some paprika, as well as some onion powder. We 
roasted garlic seasoning and you can use regular garlic seasoning but the roasted garlic seasoning is actually one of my favorites and just a dash of the Tony seasoning Next, you're going to want to add in some red wine vinegar. You're going to want to add in some ketchup. You can also add in a little sugar, but that is optional. Listen, after you try this sauce, you're never going to want to use the jarred sauce again. So now that our meat sauce is done, our lasagna noodles are cooked, we are going to go ahead and start layering our lasagna. So you want to start with the meat sauce at the bottom and then go ahead and put your noodles on top of that just so the noodles don't stick to the pan at the bottom. So you're going to want to add some more meat sauce on top of those noodles and then we're going to come in and add our cheese. So for this lasagna, I actually like to use freshly grated cheese. I actually ran out at the end, but it still worked. So like I stated previously, we aren't doing the ricotta cheese. So this is just going to be a matter of just layering. You're going to do your noodles, more meat sauce, cheese, noodles, meat sauce, cheese, just over and over until you get to the very top. Once you're at the very top, all you're going to do is just cover that with a layer of shredded cheese. Then you're going to sprinkle a little Italian seasoning on top and then it's ready for the oven. So next you're going to go ahead and put it in your oven that has been preheated to 375 and we're going to bake that for about 40 minutes. So this should be your finished product. You do want to go ahead and let it cool for about 20 minutes and then just serve it. Serve it with some garlic bread and enjoy. Enjoy. 